amputations can be the result of severe trauma or an aggressive disease. But the vast majority are caused by chronic wounds, injuries that fail to heal. Many chronic wounds are linked to diabetes. High blood sugar levels causes nerve damage and poor circulation, making it harder for wounds to heal. They can then become infected, which sometimes leads to amputation. Currently, one in 11 Americans suffers from diabetes. By 2050, it could be one in four. Some wounds are treated with skin from pigs or human cadaver. However, both involve a high risk of failure and disease transmission. It's led to an unlikely discovery. I was interested in finding a source of material that is as similar to human skin as possible. And the surprising thing is that cod fish skin is much more similar to human skin than, for example, pig skin. A chemist by trade, Fertram Sigurd Jonsson has spent his career treating chronic wounds. Now, a CEO and founder of Keresis, he's turning cod skins into medical products in northwest Iceland. So our manufacturing facilities, they are located in the township of Isafjord, 30 miles from the polar circle. This is a fishing town. Uh, fish is caught, processed in a fish processing plant, and we collect the skins. These are just landed uh, this morning or last night. They're fresh. This one is rejected. I'm, I'm examining for blood. A lot of times blood will bleed into the, into the skin and looking for parasites, looking for holes. I don't like that one either. This one's looking pretty good. Yeah, this is a nice, beautiful one. Doesn't have blood spots, it's whole, no tears. Once the best skins are picked, Keris's team get to work on transforming them into medical grafts. The first step in our manufacturing process is to descale it. We want to remove the, the scales from the, the material. Then we uh, put the skins into a solution that cleans the skins and uh, gently removes uh, all cells. And then we move it into our clean room uh, where we remove all the, the liquid uh, from the material in a gentle manner while uh, preserving the three-dimensional or the porous scaffolding structure of the material, which is very important. It's too small for the human eye to see, but this is what Keresis says is vital to accelerating the healing process. Cell structure of the fish skin recruits the body's own cells to form healthy tissue. It's then gradually incorporated into the closing wound. Across the ocean in New York's Mount Sinai Hospital, Dr. John Lantis has been using Keresis products on his patients. This is actually what the material looks like a week after being put on. The outline of the fish skin is actually around the outside here. This is fish skin that is not active on him. The rest is fish skin that's deeper in the wound. So far so good. It looks, it looks like it's coating the wound nicely and filling and the way that it's supposed to, because prior to that, it took a, it was hard for my skin inside the wound to knit itself back together. So, once Dr. Lantis has cleaned out the wound, he applies a new keratosis graft. It's not known exactly why the fish skin works. In a recent test conducted by keratosis, the company compared pig skin to fish skin. The keratosis fish product closed the wound significantly faster. The first three months of 2017, Keresis sold as much as they did in the whole of 2016. And that growth isn't just thanks to doctors working with diabetic patients. Significant investment has come from the US military. It can be applied immediately to a burn wound, just after extraction from the battlefield. Then it serves as a cover, it reduces pain, and uh, it is antimicrobial, so it prevents infections. The fish in these waters have given a lot to the people of Iceland, sustenance and wealth. With Keris's products costing up to $1,000, what was once a byproduct fed to farm animals could now be the most valuable part. Mm -hmm.